So, um, Caroline actually preceded me. I, I was going to say something about the restoration project, but maybe I will just simply let Renaud do that on his own. Renaud Barres is an architect and historian of contemporary architecture. He received his graduate degree in architecture in 1998, focusing on the restoration of this extraordinary place. I will skip along in his life very quickly to say that in 2016, thanks again to Michael Lieberman, uh, Cap Modern, I guess it is the name that Michael gave to the restoration project, he was selected, I'm going to put it this way, to be what I consider, although he has a collaborator, the focused architect on this project. And Caroline has used this word speculative um, in, in a way that is quite positive. I would say that Renaud Barres is somebody who never speculates. He simply finds evidence and creates, you know, if there aren't facts, you know, he, he makes facts from evidence in, in an extraordinary way. Um, that might be really the best way to introduce him. So we will now get a brief, but nonetheless in-depth look through this man's extraordinary mind of E1027 in his talk, Maison en Bourg de Mer, a total work of art by the two, Eileen Gray and Jean Baradici. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, everyone. I have only 20 minutes to speak about a so fantastic house and so complex house. It will be, it's an awful exercise. I will try. So you know that the house has been done by Eileen Ray and also by Badovici, for Badovici. We, we spoke about him and about the architecture of the event. They were not the first one to, to do a house in South of France. Where Maddie Stevens has done one before, but she has done a, a house in South of France and they have done a house for South of France. It's a big difference. And uh, so they, they found the, the landscape here. They were together. Uh, it's, uh, it's in uh, Roquebrune Cap Martin. It's very close to Monaco. And uh, the, the, the landscape was very beautiful, very geometric with uh, stone walls like that, that, uh, that are used to cultivate lemon trees. And uh, you can see there, just after the finishing of the house, the, all the, the, the stone walls. Uh, the, the, the land was bought by Badovici in, in March 1926. And I would like to say that for me, it is sure that it's a, it's a work with four hands. Even if the genius is Eileen Gray, there is no doubt. And she's a genius, the only one genius of all the furniture and the equipment that gives the, all the spirit of the house. But we can see here, for example, uh, um, a letter from, Bado from Le Corbusier to Badovici where he says... You, are you in Paris? No, you are never in Paris. I would like to extract you from the Côte d'Azur. So it means that every time he is in, the, in Roquebrune to work for the construction of the house. Is it a house for together? No, it is not. Uh, yes, it's bad, we see. Uh, it is not. The proud is there. The Eileen Gray bought her own site for her own house only four days after Badovici bought his own site. So it means that from the beginning, she will have her own house and he will have his own house. So the program is very simple, but very difficult to translate in architecture. Uh, it's a, a house for a man alone who likes to receive uh, friends. So a small house for a man alone, that, but can be open, transformed for guests. And uh, they give responses, w uh, especially with the circulation, that gives uh, autonomy to all rooms. It is possible to get out and to come in from all rooms. And also, Eileen uh, Gray gave, gave a, a fabulous uh, uh, answer with, with the furniture. For example, this elegant table you can see in the exhibition can be... Th there were two, and uh, with the two you can... Uh, Construct uh, a big one when you are 
uh, with guests. And, and also that uh, the stencils are not only a play, it's also an answer of the program because when you are a guest, it is easy to see that the pillow is there without asking uh, Badovici every time to know where are the things. And uh, the house uh, is done with two levels, the uh, upper levels and the, lo the lower level. And uh, the, the big one is the upper, where you have uh, the living room, you, you have Badovici's apartment, and uh, other things I, I will uh, ask. And the uh, lower place I will ask also. So the, the first uh, sea you have when you, you come in, in 1921, 29, is um, roof terrace, concrete terrace inside other terraces. So it's a, it's a beautiful combination between the landscape and the house. And uh, you, you come to the house like boarding on the boat, of course. And when you, when you are at the entrance, you have two ways to, to come inside, but a great road with stencils, no entry in, in, here. It, of course, it, it came from the, the car worlds that she, she liked very much. And so the official uh, entry is there, and you you see the first built-in furniture there. It's a spin uh, partition here, uh, which uh, first function is to to so it came of course from uh, ship's funnel, and uh, is is to to give you the direction of the sea because when you are in the big terrace, you, you, you can see only the sea because of the canvas that hides the, the garden. And it's, it's very clever because with this system, you, you think that you are on a boat in the uh, uh, middle of the sea. Here you can see. And, but it has also the function to protect the house against the, the, the sun. And to, you can open it uh, by winter to have the sun inside. And uh, and they they put a life buoy, and it's the time for me to 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 say something about the the title of the of the house. Why I say every time E one thousand twenty seven, because of course it's a combination between the two names. But what is important for me is that it's a registration of of boats. You can see here a registration at that time. It's one letter and four numbers, exactly the same. So it means that it's a boat. Inside, you, you come back from the terrace, you have the living room where she has designed all the things, the rugs and, and all what you know. And, and also this very famous maritime chart where I found that it was not a maritime chart, in fact, but because you can't see any contours. And uh, I finished to found that it came from two very, very small maps used by uh, sailors to, to permit you to know what uh, maritime chart you have to buy when you go to Saint-Domingue or something like that. Here you can, find, you can buy this one or this one. And it's a combination between two, two uh, maps like that. It's a very small scale. And uh, at the end you have, uh, you have uh, uh, an occasional bedroom here with cupboard and uh, with uh, a door to go outside and a double uh, double light, very beautiful, she has designed, of course. And uh, outside you have the hammock terrace and you have also the, the shower room used by the guests, but also when uh, you, with, after the sea bath. And uh, at the opposite, you have here the dining room with the same tiles as outside, that means for the guest you can go outside to to with uh, as a the dining dining room, and uh, here you can see the very famous uh, non-conformist chair. She has designed two for the house and two with different armrests. I, I will show you, and also the the famous uh, dining uh, table. So th this is the one uh, uh, you can see now in uh, another condition. Uh, here the, the the table with the cork top, 
and uh, a, a very strange but very interesting uh, uh, area. It's there. It's there. They they uh, they said it's a corridor, but it's also a bar. Why it is a bar? Because this table is is very very important to understand. This table is fixed, but it has a top that can be open and that can close this this uh, part to be transformed as a bar. And uh, we can see it with the reconstruction we have done, like that, to understand. And uh, from the corridor, you can go inside uh, Badoisi's apartment, uh, from his uh, uh, work studio with, the, of course, the very complex uh, uh, table she has designed, and it is very difficult to reproduce, as, as the other ones. And uh, at the end, you have a private uh, terrace. The, um, the bedroom with all the things she has designed and the mosquito net system in every bedroom because mosquitoes are there also today. And uh, here it's to hide the mosquito net. And uh, a washstand as in every bedroom with a very beautiful uh, furniture that is in the exhibition. It's a, it's a cupboard, but also it's a screen here. And uh, here, uh, a, a very interesting uh, stool that, in fact, she has not designed. In fact, it's a stool for dentists. She has only changed the, the seat. And uh, in north part of the of the apartment, you have the the bathroom with uh, with the bath and with the to the the bidet. She covered with aluminium or with wood. She designed the, the the lights and all the things. And from there, you can go outside directly to the garden from a, a wood staircase designed exactly as on a boat with canvas. And uh, you have another staircase to to go to the roof from uh, from uh, uh, she, she, they wrote a cage en verre, so with with steel and and, and glass. And the, the form is very important because in fact it's a form like a ventilator to have natural ventilation for the house. You open the door and the wind come inside, and you have natural ventilation. And it has it has also a symbolic. Uh, function with this uh, three light uh, as uh, a life house. So with the same staircase, you can go to the lower uh, ground floor and you can go to the guest room here with the, all the, the color you can see with a, a very beautiful screen here and a, a sculpture like a six to, to hide the, the, the mosquito net. And also the very famous kitchen uh, table that can be moved. The, and I would like to say that the glass has never been used for the top. Too heavy. It was only celluloid or aluminium. Here, uh, the, the writing desk. And the second non-conformist chair. And you can see that the armrest is very thin. Very different from the other one. And you can see him here with the fin finition, but it has been changed. Uh, in the other part of the bedroom, you have a, a ward rest with, uh, in, uh, with, uh, the electric, uh, with the electricity inside and the ve a, small, a small beautiful dressing table that is in the exhibition also. And uh, the very famous uh, satellite mirror, which secret is that in fact the light is not inside the the mirror but inside the wall. So you can understand why she has done only one. And we we have no uh, no photograph of the maid uh, room, just the outside here. But uh, one of the places very important is here. It's, it's uh, outside and also we can say inside. It's a beautiful place to stay when the, the sun is very strong. It is there. And uh, the protection against the wind is done by this uh, construction uh, where you can see a circular window that uh, the idea originally was to use it 
uh, with a, a private projector to project uh, movies here to this wall. And the uh, last thing to, to be seen uh, in the garden, the, the solarium for the sun bath. The, the last uh, interior, the last room is the kitchen in the north of the, of the house. And in fact, the kitchen is double here for, for the, the, the sad time and here for winter time. This is the inside. We have a, a very important thing here. The, it's a filter for, um, <clears throat> for the water because they, they had no uh, running uh, water at that time. And, uh, and here you can see the summer, the summer kitchen with the water tank here. So this is in, in 1932, just to show you how it was incredible for people at that time to see this house. They said, I, I have found a, a lady who, who, was, uh, who was alive. She said to me that everyone said, it's, it's, it's a crazy uh, English lady who has uh, done this. Uh, no, they, they didn't know that she was Irish. Uh, so the story of the house, Eileen uh, Gray uh, did her own house in 32. And Corbusier came for the first time in 37 and the second time in 38, you know, to do two murals and after in 39 to do five murals. Oof. And uh, in the Second World War, uh, Badovici closed the house, uh, hide the furniture, and uh, and uh, uh, and stick the the canvas that uh, were destroyed after. And it, it's a sad. And he, he after the war he he did the maintenance works, especially for the roof. And uh, in forty nine, Thomas Rebutato came here and opened. No, in forty eight, uh, opened uh, a bar restaurant above the the, the house. And uh, Corbusier did his cabin in uh, 52. Badovici died in 56. Corbusier did uh, five uh, camping units in 47, just above the house for, for Thomas Rebutato. And Mrs. Shelbert bought the uh, E1027 in 96. And she maintained the house in a quite good condition, but she, she transformed it. Uh, a lot, especially the spirit of the <laughs> of the um, yes the garden, the colors has changed, and also the insides. She destroyed part of the furniture and she transformed the colors and things like that. Uh, but she she tried to maintain Corbusier's work, and she died in 1982. And uh, at that time, her medicine became uh, the owner in a very strange story. And he, 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 doctor, excuse, excuse me, uh, psychiatr. And uh, he, he never gave any money to maintain the house. And he sold all the furniture in a very famous uh, auction in 1991 in Monaco. And he was killed, uh, as uh, Caroline said, in 96 by the house, I think. And uh, in night, and the house was opened for everyone, so uh, we can see that they destroyed the, the spin partition, and uh, but the guest room was used as, as a guest room that uh, I think they have understood uh, a part of the house, and uh, unfortunately parts of fixed furniture that still exist were, were stolen uh, in '98. And uh, it was a time I uh, I did my graduate in architecture to 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 try to save the, the house. And uh, the city uh, asked me to help them for to, to save the house. And uh, the, first, uh, the first thing I, I did was a, uh, an archaeological survey. And for example, I have found this, this, this piece of wood and it came from there. And what it was, it was a store for the disc, for the records in the spin partition, so it's very important to have the originals. So the house was uh, bought by the National Coastal Conservancy in 1999. And uh, I met at that time uh, André Roitino, who was Eileen Grace Carpenter. 
And it was very interesting, you can imagine. And he explained to me how she worked and how he worked with her. And he explained to me that he has done all the models, the architectural models for her. And uh, it was uh, the time for me to try to find the, all the furniture that had been sold and to study uh, the furniture to understand how they were, uh, how they are now, and how they were in 1991. For example, the, f the, f the foot of, of this one has changed here, and a lot of details to, to, uh, with the idea to reproduce it. So I was lucky because the lady, the owner, opened me the door. <laughs> uh, I think because I was a young man. <laughs> and inside you had beautiful uh, original furniture for example this one which uh, there is quite the same in in uh, in Roquebrune so it was very interesting for me to 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 take the drawings of all the things and also I've been to private collections to to see the rugs to understand how she was she was uh, working with the wood uh, to reproduce the, the the, the rug after and I have uh, and I have done also an architectural survey survey of all the traces that still exist here for example and I have done all the 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 drawings to reconstitute is here it was in uh, 99 and it, this is what I have done and uh, exactly the same for the house and also for the garden because for the, for the garden is also a part of the of the house. And I met at that time Burkhard Ruscio, who is very famous. He is an architect and historian and a specialist of Adolf Loos, and he has restored the major part of Adolf Loos' work. And together we propose a restoration of the house. But uh, in fact, the house is a national monument, so it has been restored by an architect from the state. And uh, it has not been correctly restored. I can't say more, but... Uh, but uh, the situation was very, very difficult at that time. So uh, the National uh, Coastal Conservancy asked uh, the best one to, <laughs> to find a solution. And uh, it is, of course, Michael Lickerman, who is the best friend of the Coastal Conservancy. And he made uh, uh, a private association. He asked... Uh, Claudia Deveau, uh, a patrimony architect, to, to work with him, and he asked Burkhardt and me to work also to, to, the, to the project as a specialist of the house and specialist of the restoration of the 20th century. Hello, Magda. <laughs> so we, we did a very important guide for the restoration where we spoke about all the mistakes, all the 160 mistakes, and uh, how to do the restoration, and we started to re to reconstitute all the the furniture. So we, I will show you examples. It's finished. Two minutes. So here, twenty nine, ninety nine, and now, with all the details, you can see. So it's first time we can see how was the house by night, and it's very interesting. So living room, ninety nine. Now, with my maps, it was possible to reconstitute the maritime chart. And also Ute Uber, who came from the uh, Burkhardt's network, uh, she has done the reproduction of the rugs from our uh, drawings. You can see that it's totally different from the new edition. And she has done also the curtains. It, it was a very difficult work. And... Uh, here you can see 99, and now it is about to be finished. We have also done the alarm clock, and it was very difficult, but we have done it. And uh, here's the kitchen. I have found an original filter, exactly the same. And uh, also you can hear, and also the cock boiler, it, it, it is exactly the same also. And we are about to finish the restoration this year with, with the guest room. Thank you very much.